Oh, let's resume, resume the joy of Nexi Raven's adventures in space. Nexi Raven's contact on Vast revealed that the target on Vast would be one Thelonio Redrish, a Quati noble awarded the military rank of general for her resistance efforts against the Empire during the Great War. Blah, 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 blah. They're going on a healing vision quest or some bullshit, and we're going to go and stop her. And what are we doing that? We're going into the middle of Cormac territory after she got quote-unquote captured, which I'm pretty sure means actually she's like, by the way, the Cormac and the Vos should either be friends, or she'll be like, by the way, let me through and I'll be like, give you some Vos or some shit, I don't know. She'll... I'm, I'm very certain that I'll walk in and I won't get to keep... I'll have to fight a lot of Gormac and very little Republic, and I'll have the option of saving that bitch or ultra-killing her, which I'll do... I load in eventually. <laughs> oh, yeah, again, we are listening to the music of Mr. Kevin MacLeod at soundcloud.com slash Kevin hyphen nine hyphen one. It's on SoundCloud under the Creative Commons sharing license. Okay. Good. Let's continue. We're back from the scheduled maintenance and all that stuff. I use the time to do some more monster hunting because monster hunting makes me feel like a real man. Uja Uja Atangi. What's that over there? Oh, I don't need that shit. Una Kanahuna. Yeah. You better not disappoint the boss, or you, the boss will get sad. Sure. Okay, so there are monsters all the fuck over. There are some Gormac chilling out, Max and relaxing all cool here. Um, oh, that's it. They're called the Malvor. Or the Malvor. Muvor, even. Yeah, there's Mal There's more Vors and Muvors. Muvors are the kittens, which is adorable as shit. Apparently these guys are just punks. Adorable. Alright, homeboy. Yeah, they should be. Okay. I wish I could just, like, materialize my bank, but I'm pretty sure I don't have a legacy item for that. And uh, no. I figured not. Good. And let's have a look here. Well, that is not a very attentive person over there. How deep do we have to go in? No, not too far. Explore the Orcono Arena. Oh, well, that's an arena, so it looks like it's going to be fight to the for my amusement, and then I'll crush it because, God, I've been doing that shit all the time. It's not even remotely a surprise. And deactivate some force field. Let's go do that. Uh, let's see here. Gormac force field controls. Sure looks like a death arena to me. Looks like something that's entirely easy to handle though, so I'm not too worried. I mean, to be fair, the Gormac look way cooler than the Vos. Yes. 
And over the outside are you captured, and nobody else has to get hurt. Ah, Doubters, yep, she's got fucking a clan of Gormac helping her out already. I'm not concerned. I got some kind of like tech hooked up to their schnog pockets. Next arena. Alright, we've got five assassinates. So. Defeat a Gormac tech beasts. Alright, bring it the fuck on. Uh, let's see here. These guys are really not a concern. <sighs> Prepare for final wave. Well, I'm prepared. Let's do this fucking thing. Six seconds. I don't be needing that up for now. Okay. Hey, you're a big boy, aren't you? A Veranticus. They're pretty cool. You sit there and be stunned, boy. And dead. Not fucking worried, even a bit. Well, that's just the best way to uh, deactivate anything. Come on, then. You fucking want some too, buddy? You can do better than that. Weapons and armor that didn't stop me? Come on, get serious. Oh, we're so on. Okay. They were sweet to follow the blast payment. Nightmare lands. Oh, they're off to the dark heart in the nightmare lands. How wonderful. Go 
I'll try not to lose my head. Rad. I got a collar design Zaid cloth cap. That looks stupid as shit. Okay. That's all junk sale. Junk sale. Junk sale. Okay, so enter the Dark Heart Ritual Chamber, which is all the way over there, so let's do some teleporting. I guess to the outpost, and then another flight. Okay, great. Um, awesome. Money. Vehicle pads are currently open for business. Glad to hear it. Have to the sky, day. Hopper. Ugh. More travel. Some of my boys out in their shit. Uh, oh no, they're already all working. Already doing their business. Good on them. Okay, what we got floating around? A fleet pass. I haven't used one of those in ages. I didn't realize I was still hanging on to a free pass. Very convenient. We have more commendations than we know how to fucking spend. I have no no need for that many basics, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, okay. I guess I should start talking about what happens after hitting the end of the Bounty Hunter storyline, because we're not far off it now. Uh, we've got ten levels left to go. Five of them are meant to be Makeb, and then five of them are meant to be... Oh god, what was it? Um... Uh, the Revan story. And then we have the last, which is Ilum, which is not just the Gree, although I'm sure the Gree will give me missions in Ilum. It's uh, some Emperor-related nonsense toshery. Looking to upgrade your arsenal? Yeah, sure. Good hunting. Peace, slut. More Veron Veranticus. Not really concerned by them. Unless they just knock me randomly off. That was unpleasant. Now I'm mildly on fire. I forgot that uh, when you hit a Veranticus it explodes into flames when it slams. More Chris things. Not as adorable as my aquatic Muvor, but whatever. So what's slapping in your mooks? Oh yeah, I, I took Nexi Ray out on out in the town, as it were, for her first stint of role playing. I have never called someone a hip cat, or a cool cat, or a hip daddy, or a baby doll before, and I got to like all night, which was very funny. I'm trying to I'm trying to describe this situation as appropriately as I can, and it essentially came down to calling a Sith a mook. 
and indicating, don't worry, no, I know you're a Sith, you're my lord, right? It's cool, you dig? You know, he's just really fucking playing it up ultra hard. A lot of people are all pissing themselves laughing. It's good times. Alright, and into this magical ass chamber we go. Ooh, it is very nightmare landsy around here, isn't it? Very dark and mysterious. Oh my god, this song is called Fiddles McGinty. That's dirty. <laughs> and very Irish. Makes me want to drink lots of whiskey. Yeah, time to get sliced, supercomputer. What is a cybernetic supercomputer doing here? Jesus Christ. Makes very little sense. Oh, I'm about to get dismounted. <laughs> you know what? I think I might just run through. I don't have time for this shit. Ain't worth my time. Oh, uh, maybe it is now. Damn it. Well, you did good, HK. You actually killed, like, a bunch of dudes. Alright. So I guess let's, uh, continue on our merry goddamn way and we'll, uh, blow up some dudes while we're at it. Oh yeah, shit. Experience boost. Forgot to have that turned on. Okay, let's see. We've got five more of these guys to kill. Two more to kill. Uh, I guess these guys will do the job just fine. Alright, great. And that's that all dealt with. And now into... The Dark Heart Ritual Chamber. Which is, more, again, this, this zone is a bit more interesting when you're doing it as a Sith, because you get to go do weird Sith Force bullshit, which is much more interesting than just shooting everyone. Thelonia Redrish. I'm a damn Let's good show following. Again, but not here. You're keeping interesting company these days, General. It's not hard to find people who share a desire for peace and prosperity. A Mandalorian wouldn't understand. I'm so close to getting these people on speaking terms, and you're about to throw it all away. For what, money? Tell me you're not that petty. You're between me and a man spouting lies. Nothing personal. I think that's a small sacrifice for peace. Nothing personal. Show her what you're made of. Oh, you're all fucking dead. You should have stuck to the talking thing. It's generally what you're pretty good at, bitch. <laughs> she wasted a heal on someone who is actually technically already out of the fight. I didn't know that could happen. Lol. Wait, cease fire. This is a losing battle. For you in every possible way, yes. Finally dawned on you that resisting is pointless. I had to try. Now I have to deal. This is a pivotal moment in this planet's history. I won't let our squabbles get in the way. If you'll allow these Gormak to return home, I'll lay down my weapon. 
You're going to sacrifice yourself for perfect strangers? No. I'm going to keep them from sacrificing themselves for something as insignificant as my life. Huh, <laughs> nice try. No, they all fucking die. Waged war here centuries ago. Both manipulating these people into fighting their battles for them. It's all painted here on these walls. Now, we've come full circle. These people deserve better than to be exploited by galactic politics. Give them a fighting chance. Sparing a couple Gormak won't change anything. Should that make a difference? Besides, you're wrong. These Gormak can challenge their leaders with the truths discovered here. Not interested, bitch. Boss can reconcile their differences. They could join the galaxy on their own terms instead of being used as fodder in this war. Nah. Please, let them go. Yeah, <laughs> boo! <laughs> Shut up. Enough of the waterworks. One thirsty idiot. And everybody dies. <laughs> That was the that was the funnest death. I just turn a stream of flame on it every single one of them. And they're eliminated. Oh, that's awesome. Oh shit, I like that. That's that's my favorite ending ever to a fight. Often enough, if a if a big guy goes down and then you have a chance to talk to them, when you reinitiate the fight, they're um they're all like healed and possibly even stronger in some cases when you're fighting the force users. In this bitch's case it's like, nope, they're still hit from death. I genuinely didn't expect that. <laughs> ah, satisfaction. I get my satisfaction. Also appears we have some pending completes. More boxes of shit, which I will happily take. Be job done. Job done, buddy. General Redrish is dead. 35 years of service, sterling service. I was poised to take over as director of the diplomatic service. That's all gone now, of course. Thanks to you, I'm a laughing stock. I said I took care of General Redrish. Oh, yes. Good for you. You did more damage here than she ever did. The mess you made at the Shrine of Healing is unbelievable. And don't tell me it wasn't you. Our intelligence personnel are working non-stop to throw the blame onto General Redrish. Are the Voss buying it? Not one bit, but without evidence to the contrary, they won't press us on the matter. Protecting you has destroyed my credibility and cost me every favor I had left. I don't know why anyone would pay for the aid you rendered here, but I can't overrule a Sith Lord's wishes. Everybody pays, Ambassador, one way or another. I've paid enough for your services. All I can do now is wait to be removed from office and pray that a summary execution is the worst I can expect. Give them your resignation. It'll be cleaner. Okay. I just convinced a man to commit suicide. <laughs> I mean... <sighs> GG. GG. <laughs> wow. Like Alright, onboard AED. Shocks and revives and incapacitate. Oh, it's the combat res. Awesome. Very useful tool. And the electro net. Reducing movement speed and dealing a dot while affected. They take more damage, it can stack up to 10 times on enemy players or 4 times on any other target. It hinders them, preventing use of high mobility actions and escapes such as charges, vanishes, and speed boosts. Shit, yes. Um, you know what? That's going to be replacing the dart because I use the dart so fucking little. Oh, at last, the electro net. Good shit. And our next utility. We're on to heroic utilities now. Uh, let's also head back towards our ship. Let's see here. When I take down damage, the act cooldown is reduced by 3 seconds, once every 1.5 seconds. When taking damage, a 20% chance to redoubt, which absorbs a low amount of damage for 6 seconds, which can't happen every 10 seconds. That's not bad. Uh, increases the damage by jet boost. I mean, I'm not, I don't really give a shit about the damage portion of that, but in addition, taking it reduces the active cooldown. Uh, every second, so that's cool down for that. 
Jet boost heals me and others around me? That's kind of interesting. Allows unload blazing bolts and progressive scan to be activated while moving. Uh, which one is progressive scan? Which one is progressive scan? I don't... I don't know which one progressive scan is, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Uh... Is it one of these powers over here? Oh yeah, it is. Progressive scan at level 57 with a cooldown of 30 seconds. 14 seconds even. That's pretty fucking good. So I'm totally distracted by looking at these. It reduces damage taken from AoE. While stunned, I take less damage. That's like There's a lot of good PvP stuff in here. Reduce the cooldowns each when I get 10 stacks of supercharge over the course of using recharge and yeah, that's kind of useful, I guess. And reduces the cooldown of concussive missile and power surge by 15 each. And I get a second charge, making two abilities with activation time be instant. Yeah, they're both useful, but I think I'm going to go with unload blazing... Which one is blazing bolts? I don't know that one. Fuck it, whatever. Okay, well, I was unload blazing bolts and progressive scan to be activated while moving. So we'll go with that. You're about to commit utilities, yes, except, and I guess we're going to find out what it's like to replace uh, one of my powers here. Where's it unload? There we go. Okay. So we're going to put unload where power shot was this entire time, and we'll, uh, 24 heat. 15, but it's longer. You know what? I'm going to go with that for now. We'll see how it goes in the end. Enter my ship. Okay. So about the wait. I believe we're now moving on to our last planet in the class mission. I believe. And let's get the rest of HK's um, stuff back out of storage. A core and a rifle. And also we'll put uh, these gifts in there. I don't need them with me for now. And companion. HK. You can have that back. Oh, shit. And that back. Yeah, much stronger. Okay, great. We don't need that shit anymore. Okay, cool. So I'll hold it here now. I have word that the privateer and Kuwati woman have been dealt with. When do I get my hands on June Saros? Soon. The campaign on Raban is coming to a close. I will direct my forces towards a full-scale assault on Perenia. Rendezvous with my flagship, the Tyrant, in the band's out system. Interesting, okay. Don't know why I need to go back to this dude's fucking ship, but... I mean, a phone call would suffice, you know? I'm not even kidding, I'm genuinely like, I don't fucking trust this guy now. He's a Sith. When, a, when you do work for a Sith, half of them are like, good, and we may have use of you in the future. And other ones are like, you've done all I can get you to do. Eat fucking death. Thus always to tyrants. Hopefully I don't have to fucking murder my way back over to him again through his ship. That took a bunch of time. It's very time consuming. Captain Evelyn, commanding officer of the Tyrants. You are Darth Tormund's bounty hunter? What's with the blaster fire in the background? We've been boarded. The situation is bad. Republic Special Forces slipped on board during our troop withdrawal. They've completely overrun the command decks. It won't be long before we lose the bridge. If you act quickly, we might be able to turn things around. You don't sound very panicked. Let's get more specific about my pay. You'll get whatever I can give you, but not if we lose this ship. 
The board has initiated a complete lockdown, trapping our defenders and the subdecks. I need you to undo their tampering. With their overrides disabled, we can unseal the lock decks from the bridge so Dark Torman and his soldiers can retake control. Those Republic dogs are as good as dead. The borders are not your primary concern. No unnecessary risks. I'm transmitting the location of the ship's network junctions. Restore the systems and we can handle the rest. I've opened the docking bays and disabled our weapons. You can make a safe landing if you hurry. The window of opportunity is... Oh, well, you're fucking dead. There goes my money. If we're going to land, we better do it before the borders get the turbo lasers back online. Wait to rub this rescue in Torment's face. If you're gonna rub his face in something, Oh, sh fuck, sh fuck the shut up. <sighs> Damn it, I hit escape. I don't answer. Let's get more. I won't let you down. If I didn't believe that. We're in for a rough land. Figures I'd have a big lunch. So cheeky. So the tyrant got boarded, and I'm rescuing a Sith. Okay. Okay. I mean, sadly, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get to see the um, big boy Jedi that I want to kill on this ship. That would be real convenient, because I'm pretty sure after this it's off to Corellia still. Juden Seros needs a good old-fashioned dick pa- The fuck? Um... The, the hell? Oh, come on. Well, shit. And that was only 32 minutes. Yeah, uh, I get it. Unable to retreat the server list. Awesome. Fucking great. Just when we were at that point. Uh, well, sorry guys. 